Hello everyone. In this video we are going to see how to install and configure a Windows subsystem for Linux version 2 on Windows 10. And before we begin, uh, I just want to mention that uh, you need Windows 10 at least version 2004 because uh, WSL2 is officially supported with this version and some older insider preview versions. And if you want to test on a virtual machine, you will need to configure nested virtualization for that Windows 10 virtual machine. So in this video, I am using Hyper-V, so we are going to see how to enable this on Hyper-V. And the basic steps that we will do in this video is First, enable WSL and Hyper-V as optional features on the Windows 10 installation. Then download a distribution. After that, uh, we need to update the WSL Linux kernel. And it's uh, actually pretty simple, you will see. Then we will set the default WSL version to 2, because by default it's set to 1. And uh, finally, of course, we will install the distribution that we downloaded. Let's go and uh, see the code. Now, the first thing I want to do is enable nested virtualization for my virtual machine. And uh, we need to turn the virtual machine off at first. And this is it. So now it's turned off. And to enable nested virtualization, we just run these two commands. And we have to run them as administrator, so I will copy them and uh, paste them in a new PowerShell window. And now uh, we can power on again the virtual machine because the first part is done. Now I'm on the Windows 10 uh, machine and we can continue to actually install and configure WSL. And like I mentioned in the presentation, the first thing we need to do is install two optional features. One is WSL itself. The other is Hyper-V. And after these two commands, we need to restart the computer. So step one is done. Now we get to step two. Let's create a directory where we will keep our distribution. So this is the directory from which the actual Linux distribution will run. And let's navigate to that directory. And the next step is uh, actually to download a Linux distribution from this list. And uh, just to mention, the last distribution, the Fedora Remix distribution, is a little different than the other ones. As you can see, to prepare it, you have a little more uh, commands to run. And uh, for me, it actually didn't work. I kept receiving this error while trying to install it, and I did not find a way to solve it. So for Fedora, if you know how to make it work, maybe you can leave a comment. Uh, we will not be using it in this video. I will choose another distribution and I think I will go with the first one, with Ubuntu. So this command will download the distribution and uh, place it in the distros folder. And depending on your internet speed and your uh, virtual machine uh, processor count, it could take a while to download. So I will see you when the download is done. So with the download finished, let's go to the next step. And this step is actually to rename the file from AppX to zip. And this way we will be able to extract the files inside it. Because we actually need what's inside this file, not the file itself. So now the archive is extracted. We don't need it anymore. We can delete it from this computer. So now the next step before we actually install it, I would recommend that we also update the Linux kernel from WSL. So to do this, we have to download an MSI file from Microsoft, which is not very big, so it will not take too long. And 
and then we just have to install it with uh, the start process command using msi exec and it's already done so now we are getting close to actually installing ubuntu what i want to do next is set the default version for wsl to number two so every linux distribution that we will install will be installed as wsl2 and not one and this is the command to do it now it's set let's go into the ubuntu folder and to install it we just run this exe but uh, i think the best way to run it is actually from the powershell console and not from ise because i noticed i have some strange issues running it from isc so in powershell let's navigate to the folder let's run the exe and it will start installing the distribution and this will take a couple of minutes when it's done installing it, you will be prompted to create a username and give it also a password. So I'll see you when this uh, happens. And after some time, you will see this prompt. We have to enter a username for our Linux user. And we have to give it a password. And now uh, we can use Ubuntu on Windows 10 using WSL2. To exit this distribution, just type exit. And to, uh, yeah, to open it again, just uh, use the exe again and you will immediately go into the Linux distribution. There are also a uh, couple of commands, two commands. You can get a list of your distributions with the version that uh, they use, but I don't like the formatting here. Let me show you in PowerShell. And you can see that our distribution is stopped and it's version two. And for an existing distribution that uh, maybe you already used and you, or you created with version one, you can change the version with this command just enter the distribution name that you get using the list and change each version so this was uh, it for installing wsl2 on windows 10 remember that you need at least version 2004 but i'm sure it will work for uh, newer versions down the line if you like the video, I would appreciate if you like it and share it. Also consider subscribing if you're not subscribed. And thanks a lot for watching.